It's a beautiful day for beekeeping. <laughs> So you live in the dream. I'm ready guys, how do I look? You should see it through someone else's side. Another cipher to break. Inside a hive, we have all these frames. There's ten frames. While the grass grows underneath my feet. If you are new to our channel, my husband Jesse and I have been traveling the country full time for almost two and a half years now in our Northwood Nash RV currently. Um, today I am going on a special adventure girls day to a beekeeping workshop at Lavender Hill Farm here and we are going to do a little tour of the lavender farm and learn a lot about beekeeping. So this is kind of a unique activity in this area and we just decided to go ahead and seek it out. Uh, one of our hives and inside a hive we have all these frames. There's 10 frames and they look like this filled with bees. Two, two of these make up the body of the hive where the queen lives. So there'll be 20 frames in the in the body when we go and check out the hives you'll see i've stacked more on top and those are really strong hives um, where the bees are bringing in so much honey that i had to add more boxes to give them more space and one queen in that entire hive and thousands tens of thousands of workers i'm ready guys how do i look you look great excellent what do you do first learn more about bees that's for sure <laughs> try not to get stung how do you find the queen bee? The queen bee has, oh, she's right here. Oh, she is, she has like a little white dot of paint on her back. Oh. Some people will like put like a little plastic cap on her and mark it with a number, but this beekeeper just marks it with a dot of white paint. Otherwise, she would spend hours looking for her. The beekeeper gave us a taste of her homemade honey, honey butter, and honey mustard. My personal favorite, definitely the honey butter. So since we've been here, I've learned some fun facts about the lavender farm itself. It actually started with the owner planting lavender specifically for her bees. Um, and now it's grown, they have 27 different types of lavender here and they do golf cart tours and events and weddings and workshops and arts and crafts and they have a shop that sells all different lavender products made here. They actually uh, make their own essential oils, candles, and the beekeeping workshop that we're going to, they make their honey here specifically for the lavender farm. So we're gonna have to pick some of that up as well. Of course, I had to pick up some honey from the Lavender Hill Farm made here by the worker bees that we're gonna go check out in a moment. And it's interesting because we learned today that honey is the only thing made by insects that humans actually eat. And when you think about that, it makes perfect sense. Um, it's funny because I never realized that sometimes honey in the grocery store is mixed with corn syrup because that prevents it from crystallizing. So you can always tell pure honey because it will crystallize after about a month shelf life depending on you know where it's kept. If it's in a temperature controlled grocery store of course it'll last a little bit longer but that's always a good way to tell if your honey is pure and if it does crystallize just put it in hot water and it'll soften right back up. 
After the beekeeping workshop at Lavender Hill Farm, we headed to a coffee shop in Charlevoix for the rest of the workday. One of my favorite parts of being a digital nomad is working at a coffee shop. Is that weird? I don't know. I really like it. I like going hang out into a new town and getting a little coffee, supporting local business, and getting a change of scenery because I work from the RV almost every day. Okay, our girls' time is over. Now we're hanging out with the boys. Now you're stuck with us. Exploring Charlevoix. I hope you had a great time with your bees and your flowers. I did. It was really nice. It was a nice girls morning. We had a good guys time. We fixed the truck and then we went and got beer at a brewery. It's been a pretty great day. Sounds like an appropriate guys day. What do we got planned for tonight? I think we're going to dinner at another brewery where there is live music. Sweet. Are you gonna play the Sicilian? This is the Sicilian. Just like Queen's Gambit. Oh yes, Queen's Gambit. So we have walked down to the Earl Young district, the cluster of mushroom houses that Charlevoix is famous for. So they have this like really distinct style. I mean, I guess they obviously look like a mushroom with the wood roofs going in a pattern like this. So we're just gonna do a little quick lap around the block to look at all these houses and then we're gonna head to the brewery. Beers, we're gonna head to Beers Brewery. That's a really original name. This one is called the Thatch House because of the thatch style roof, as you can see behind me. And uh, that roofing material has apparently been used for centuries and it lasts up to 60 years. All right, so we took a 15 minute drive southwest of Charlevoix and we are now at Beers Inwood Brewery and Winery. Um, they have a really nice like outdoor seating area, live music. It's in a the brewery itself is in like a really old house. Um, so that's kind of cool. We're out here in like the farmland. Lake Michigan is way in the background. It's really hard to see, but it is a beautiful way to end this lovely Friday. It's really sunny out. It's just a really nice evening in Michigan. This is what Michigan summers are about. A little bit of exploring and chilling and just enjoying the nice weather. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.